Good evening. I'm Erica Ishii, and I brought my co-host, Talis and Jaffe, and this is Gather, Gather Your, Your Ghost! Ghost. <laughs> 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 Welcome, everyone. We have an evening full of surprises and spoops for you. Uh, we have a terrific band, Windows to Sky, some of our friends. We have a full party oh, yes. of uh, ghoulish seance Ooh. attendees. And um, as you can <laughs> see, uh, yes, please, everybody, take a moment to admire the bust of Talison <laughs> Jaffe. Hello. How are you this evening, Talison? I'm, 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 I'm feeling well. I'm feeling a little heady. It's quite nice. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. uh, very it's, good, very good. Don't let's not get ahead of ourselves. Yeah, though. I'm trying. I'm trying to stay focused. Very good. A hard. Uh, <laughs> uh, the, uh, so this this past week was was a big one for you. Yeah, that was uh, 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 that was uh, daunting. I'm glad it, it seems like it went well. I haven't really talked to a lot of. Uh, I haven't really seen the internet yet because oh, I've been busy. Oh, the internet was pretty pleased with you. If show. you don't know what we're talking about, you've been under a rock. <laughs> But uh, Vox Machina did a one-off led by the incredible Talos and Jaffe. It was a campaign of uh, Vampire the Masquerade, and it was so wonderful. It was a bloodbath. It was. Really what happened was that the team uh, were themselves. They woke up in coffins in here in the studio and had to fight their way out against their love, beloved co-workers and friends. Oh, we, yeah, we, we murdered our way through all sorts of, of terrible things, and there were werewolves and, and mm -hmm. weird things, and mm -hmm. it was great. <laughs> yes, definitely go check that out on the VOD if you haven't already. Mm -hmm. uh, what else What else happened this week, Talos? And Wednesday, uh, it was a very Liam O'Brien-y week. It was a Liam O'Brien week. We, we, talked, we talked about Hellboy, which I actually I, I barely sunk into, but I learned quite a bit, and I'm going to be, uh, as soon as I get my life back, Mm -hmm. Figuratively and literally, yes. uh, this weekend I'm going to delve into a little bit of that. <laughs> this is just a little death joke there for you, oh. everybody. Uh, yes, yeah, so Liam O'Brien was was on the Wednesday Club. He's also on Lore Master talking about anime. I was Very like cool. listening to a master class. Fantastic. Hashtag Stanima says the chat. Yeah, I was. Yeah, that was that's mine. Everyone, <laughs> everyone gotten, has a couple. That was mine. Apparently, you I, haven't I can't gotten pronounce. gotten a lot of sleep. I'm, this I'm week. trying to own Stanima. I'm trying to own it. Own it. It's mine. Be it. It's it's a thing. It's a hashtag now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see what what else happened. So on Game Engine, we had a delightful little game Hob. Check that out if you haven't. Mm -hmm. And uh, a great deal of inappropriateness with South Park fractured but whole. That was super cool. Uh, very good. Very good. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see what what else. Mines and crafts. They made glitter slime. Ooh. Yeah, that's no, right. I, I know. Like, yeah. Wh Whitney Moore has a, has occasionally told me about how wonderful uh, like like glitter slime can be. She's got a she's she's really amused by. Yeah. Like, speaking of wonderful and Whitney Moore. Yes. Uh, uh, she's got a project coming up on Alpha. I know. I'm all so all excited. Very excited I'm, about. Very excited about. Hard time um, staying corporeal. I'm so excited about it. There. I. <laughs> I, uh, uh, you and I both popped into uh, AXYB. Yeah, yeah, because we were working on this. That, we were working we on this. We meeting. We were, we were, we were having a meeting, uh, and I ate, well, what check the VOD yeah, to check, see check what, I, what weird thing that I ate. It was that whole, that, that all got strange. That it was did. pretty cool, though. It was so. good. It was good. Uh, so we, we had a, quite a full week. Quite a full week, and um, I'm I'm very excited about the show upcoming. Tell us, and why did we decide to do Gather Your Ghost? Well, it's an entire. We're we're kind of I I kind of proposed the notion of a Gothtoberfest, and yes. so I'm trying to see if I can either host or connive as many of our shows as possible into having a spookier theme and doing something <laughs> a little weird and macabre. And then also, it's a good excuse for me to drag, especially a lot of my spooky friends. Who I, I don't see nearly enough of because I live here now. Yes, the the running <laughs> joke of Gather Your Party it is is that it is the place where we invite all the friends that we want to hang out with but don't have time to because we are doing this show. Yeah. So thanks to them for coming by to our party. Oh yeah, you're gonna meet some wonderful, wonderful people. Oh and yeah. We're gonna we're gonna tell some ghost stories, have some tell some spooky stuff. It'll be some it'll be some some information, some some That's made right. up stories, some stories that. Probably made up, or we might have been a little drunk. Who knows? Uh, yeah, so. uh, chat very much enjoys Gothtoberfest. Oh, yeah, been a lot of really good goth hashtags coming out of this past month. Hashtag I I personally like uh, Vox Gothica. 
Vox Gothica, I've heard it. I haven't seen it yet, obviously. Yeah, but then there's other people that Sunday. like Goth Machina. Mm. Which which one? Like which side are you on, chat? Vox Gothica or Goth Vox Goth? Okay, damn it, Goth <laughs> Goth Machina. I think the one you can say is usually the one that they should actually use. All right. This so is weird looking up at you like this. this oh way. yeah. Hi there. Hi. Hello, hello there, Talzin. There we are. Mm. Yes. <laughs> uh, let's. Yes. Good. Good show tonight. Um, shall we? Shall we meet our our let's, friends? Let's let's start meeting our our uh, wonderful panel starting on my on my well I suppose on the left side. Uh, of the it's, on, it's on your right I suppose, yes. but I, I I don't believe that they can see that because due to the nature of the mortis. Oh, that's right. They 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 can't really appreciate that I can actually like shift my eyes mm -hmm. to look at them. Oh oh wow, lots of response. Vox Gothica, <laughs> like, like wow, a lot of people. I think Vox Gothica seems to be winning it. Goth Machina well. sounds way cool, says somebody though. Uh, Vox Gothica seems to have it. I'm sure. I'm sure we can have a mod throw a poll into the chat and decide <laughs> once and for all which is a superior uh, hashtag for next week. Fine. Yeah, there's going to be one more game, so it should be. Oh God! It should be oh, you're going to be great. You're going to get done all the things that you need to do, and everyone will have a good time, as always. That's the hope. <laughs> All right, so let's go meet our panel here. Starting over here, we, we have uh, a face you know and love, uh, Brian Forrest, everybody. Uh, we're going to go around the room and ask you who you are, what people might know you from, and where they can find you on the Internet. Well, good evening. My name is Brian Forrest. You might know me from shows here or also Video Game High School or possibly other shows in which I'm either on fire or fighting with swords or from the Ultraman series if you've been able to get to Europe or Japan and get a hold of the uh, English tracks of their new movies. I am all through those as well. And you can find me on the interwebs as Sir Brian Forrest. I want to add something to that before we keep moving on. <laughs> Do you believe in ghosts? I believe in energy. Mm. Because energy to... has to go somewhere, scientifically or otherwise. So who knows what it could go into, or who it could go into. I was going to limit it to yes, no, or it's complicated. <laughs> 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 well, you but that, say but that, that did very well. That did very well. There's a lag time between me and the statue. Moving <laughs> <laughs> right along. And moving along. <laughs> Hello, my name is Marcy Edwards. I am a voice actress and a visual artist. Um, you can find me on the interwebs at uh, Marcy the Beast on Twitter or the Creative Challenge on Instagram. Hello, I am KG Tang. I am a voice actor. Uh, for the gamers out there, uh, you can hear me as Munahisa EY in Persona 5 and Owain from the Fire Emblem series. And you can find me on the Twitters at, at KG Tang. Fantastic. <laughs> Let's go to the other side of the room. Yes, please, cool. Amanda. Hey, uh, I'm Amanda C. Miller. I'm a voice actress and writer. Uh, you might have heard me in Sailor Moon Crystal as Sailor Jupiter. Um, I'm also the voice of Boruto Uzumaki in the Naruto franchise. Uh, I've done other stuff, but you can Google that. Uh, and then I'm also the creator of uh, a ghostly web series called Ghosts and Stuff, Inc., which you can find on YouTube at youtube.com slash ghosts and stuff, Inc., uh, and I guess Twitter, <laughs> whatever. You can find me on Twitter at Amanda underscore Celine, as in Celine Dion, but that's not who I'm named after. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to say you, go, you believe in ghosts. <laughs> oh, I, I know, yeah. I, I, so I'm always like, no, I don't, I don't believe in ghosts, but then whenever my roommate's not there, the first sound, I'm like, oh, Jesus, oh, it's, it's haunted. So yes, I probably believe in ghosts. <laughs> Ah, hello, and hello, this hello. is a new face for some yes. of you, but you yes. should And I have music. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now you have the, the great music. Yes, thank you, everyone, thank you. Um, yes, I, I'm so excited for you to be joining yes. us, Jeremy. I'm very excited to be here. My name is Jeremy Walker. <laughs> <laughs> that is J-E-R-E-M-Y, Walker. I can also be found on the interweb at Jay Walker Scene. I'm an on-camera actor. You can see me in lots of commercials, most recent Fruit of the Loom. Also a movie called The Identical and Airplane vs. Volcano, which is just awesome. No spoilers. Uh, 
I was about Can't to say yeah. that. Who wins? Do we have, wins. To, do we have to do that again, <laughs> or uh, is, is the chat feeling like they want to hear that again? Oh, uh, no! I think I think uh, you can chat. You can probably hear Cause, everybody. Because we have we have sound people now, so we can actually make things happen. Right. Uh, oh, wow. do you hear to hear what? Whether well, or not the, the, the band was overpowering. I no, guess. I think I think they're fine because they're not being they're not uh, they're, they're not. just off off mic. Perfect. I, I need to talk to a soundtrack anyway. <laughs> right, that's right. You need like, you need a little. A I little need that little part of your theme music. But, um, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, I'm it's very players. excited because uh, yes. many many people in our community are going to see you in something coming up. Yes, you will. Well, you will see me in something coming up. I'm very new to this community and I'm very grateful to be here. So thank you, Erica. I thank you, Geek and Sundry, because you will see me in Sagas of Sundry premiering October 26th that's with the lovely Erica Ishii. Oh, that's Ishi. next week. Season yes. two. Oh, season madness. two, Sagas of Sundry. <laughs> madness. Madness. Watch and then it. we'll t explain all of our inside jokes to you afterwards. Yes. <laughs> really, really, really will we. Really My character's name's Jude Marley. He's a rock star. <laughs> he thinks he is. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Sounds like you played him well. I am so excited for this show. I can't even. Be I am I know. Yeah. Tell <laughs> Tellison has, has been helping me cope with the uh, withdrawal. I it's suppose. a come down, man. It's it nuts. Is. Oh my goodness. It's, I didn't sleep for a week. It's, no, it's so, so unreal. Much. I I heard voices in the walls yeah. and, and <laughs> like I I. The last night there was a Jenga, giant Jenga at the party, and I flinched visibly <laughs> when I heard it go down on the other side of the room. Huh. No, yeah. I saw you afterwards, and you were like, "Let me tell you about this thing." That oh, I can't it's tell you true. Uh, Lauren was very kind to, to let me to let me uh, rant to her. Yeah, that was the most nondescript rant I've ever like, because you couldn't say anything about it, but you're I like, "Can say nothing." Here's the emotion that happened at things that I'm not talking about it. Things. Yeah, it was. It was. Things. It was amusing. Uh, Charlie, please. Hey, Boo. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Charlie. So, uh, I'm Charlie Feldman. Uh, you may know me from the not dearly departed, only dearly resting Screen Junkies news. Uh, it will be back. I might not be back with it, but it will be back. Uh, you will know me from, or you can find me, find me rather, Charlie underscore Feldman. Uh, also at Chickbait Reel, we are doing a Gem in the Holograms fan film. That is coming Ooh. out hopefully um, this year. I may have kickstarted that. Not saying. Uh, <laughs> well, what? I may have. I may have contributed to that Kickstarter. <laughs> yeah, <I think laughs> Maybe did. could have happened. He did. Really quickly, is are people uh, able to see? I think I don't think chat can see people. Oh, closer yeah. to your faces. Closer to your faces. Here. So cl it's closer horrible. to your faces. It's only going to matter your faces for a second more. Put the light away. Yeah. So don't people can see eyes. your faces more. Great. You want to see the no tears? Yes. All right. So Charlie, yes. Yeah. And Chick bait. Yes. Chick bait. You can see actually Erica and I as Alexa and Dot in a rap battle. Siri. It was been, you were fantastic. You were it's really amazing. fun. But go watch us rap right now. Chick yes. bait. Yes. <laughs> and not now, now, but like. Oh no, not now, now. <laughs> oh god. We're we'll pulling up in another tab. second screen experience. Lauren. Yes. Hi. Yes. My name is Lauren Stewart. Um, I I'm not an actor. Uh, you play on about TV. <laughs> but you actually, <laughs> she made the dice trays for half of the cast of Vast. Yeah, yeah, that was really enough. exciting. It was kind of fun to 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 see that happen. Yeah, I, I'm a leather worker. I own Merchant Green Leatherworks. Um, it's just where you can find me on Twitter. We're at Merchant Green. On Instagram, we are at Merchant Green Leatherworks. Um, if you guys are coming to um, Stan Lee's Los Angeles Comic Con, it's just what they call it now. Slack. Um, there's a bunch of C's in there. Uh, I, we'll have a booth there. It's our first con, so come yes. stop by, say hi, um, um, pet me if I'm crying, because oh, <laughs> it's no. like the first day I've had off. Um, but while. Lauren is a fantastic storyteller, and you have all been invited here because you are fantastic storytellers and or have deep, rich, resonant voices. So <laughs> I look forward to hearing stories from all of you this evening. Yeah. But I think we're about ready to go to our band, perhaps? I think it's about time for me to also uh, resume my Please, form. return to your corporeal form, Taliesin. It's too pretty to let go to the other realm. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I think we're we're ready to go over. <laughs> All right. Uh, now, please uh, well, give a warm geek and sundry welcome to Windows to Sky. Hi. I'm Joseph. This is Justine. This is Bennett. Back here is Rachel. And over there is Ryan. 
and this is the best. Oh, we're Windows to Sky, like it says on the thing. <laughs> and this is the best song about ghosts ever. When the crypt doors creak and the tombstones quake, spooks come out for a swing and wake. Happy haunts materialize and begin to vocalize. When the ghosts come out to socialize. Now don't close your eyes, don't try to hide or simply spook. They sit by your side, shrouded in a daft disguise. They
to join our jamboree. There's a simple rule that's compulsory. Mortals pay a token fee. Rest in peace, the hunting spree. So hurry back, we would like your company. Dear friends of ours. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll be talking to them we'll later. We'll be talking to them later. There's plenty to talk about. They've, they've been a big part of, of Halloween and, and life. And that song has been a big part, especially if you're in my California. labyrinth experience. And you're like, wow. they're beyond Labyrinth yes. of Jareth as well. Yeah. Hi, I'm no longer a statue. <gasps> yes, we brought oh, you back. Yeah. We're back from the dead. Just a shot of caffeine was all it took. <laughs> just a little bit of coffee. Just poured, <laughs> just poured it on the bus. Like so that, yeah, that's that's a cool thing I've been doing for for a while. I haven't yeah. done that in a while. But what, uh, I, I know. Right. I know. <laughs> <laughs> just a little hobby. Just a little. Uh, thank you, chat. Uh, you can't see it, but chat is is <clears throat> extolling your praises over so here. Woo! Yeah. Oh, no, seriously, such a haunting. It was the perfect band to bring for this. Thank you. Week. I know we were. We were I feel like stressed. we should. We need to like just ask them to come back next week for Halloween too. <laughs> uh, they, they were looking stressed, but maybe yeah, we'll ask. But that might <laughs> <be>. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta figure out what stage we're on next week too. There's a whole thing. It's oh, gonna that's be crazy. right. That's right. The set nothing. is dead. Long live the set. <laughs> I got some plans for this evening. Oh, yes. Oh, you'll see. Yeah. Oh boy, I'm looking forward to taking pictures oh, yeah. of those plans. Oh yeah. Wow, that what? came out weird. <laughs> <laughs> Not to me, it didn't. <laughs> if you guys want to do that kind of projector setup, by the way, and I've done it mm -hmm. at my house, it's super easy. All you need really is a um, any like uh, a, like a wig dummy, like the heads that wigs come on that are like little foam blanks. We have fancy ones, but that's right. I actually have a, a bust of my head as well, so yeah. I, I got a, and a projector, so I'm gonna try this at home. And it's just projector connected to your laptop and I. I was having trouble just because I had too much room, but if you have like somewhere comfortable where you can sit in the laptop camera and then just like an LED lighting up your face and as much like, like you can gray out as much. I didn't do as much as I normally do where I like put white powder in here and just like kind of look like stone and then just project it really nicely on there. And if you've got a little thing, you can even see people walking up and interact with them and be all, it's a cool way to do things on them. Yeah, cool. really so you know all nice. the Halloween tricks. I love them so much. Traumatize some children. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, let's see. So, so yeah, there, there's other. Possibly, we might get into other Halloween there's tricks some stuff. tonight. Yeah, there might be some stuff. That's right. There's um, but but we also wanted to talk about about <laughs> ghosts and and goblins and and sort of the tradition of of seances and ghost. Seances and things. ghost stories. Seances and, and ghost stories. Yeah, it's, I mean, like, ghost stories are as old as, as storytelling, just because mm -hmm. it's nice. And, and, you know, we are modern people, and whether or not we believe in these things, they're still fun Do to Do you tell. believe in ghosts? Yes, no, it's complicated. Yes, no, it's complicated. It's complicated. It's complicated. I, I, I definitely believe the world is more complicated than we think. There's a really cool theory, and I don't know if, if a couple of you have heard this before, that there was a big uptick in uh, ghost stories in the uh, 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 19th century in, in Europe. They had a huge, there was a big boom. And one of the theories on why this was is because it was also the introduction of, of, in, of indoor gaslighting. Uh, mm. Not the, yeah, the, not the, the fun <laughs> kind, not the bad kind. <laughs> although, you'll Indoors, see. Indoors, outdoors, <laughs> gaslighting is always fun. Yeah, although, <laughs> that wasn't when it was a gaslighting. Really enough, <laughs> if you think about that, they were wiring up all these houses with, with they were pumping gas into all these <coughs> houses, and there were micro leaks in these pipes. And these, the houses, especially, oh. they, they were just 
there was a lot of people getting like a little loopy on. <laughs> and it was before mm -hmm. they would put other gases in it because now when you smell the gas, smell that's fire. not. Yep. Yeah, yeah. That's and you're not, like, oh, something's wrong. Yeah, yeah, that's not the actual gas that's lighting the fire. That's so you know, oh, there's a gas leak. So back then, they didn't even know. <laughs> so didn't even know. you know, you're in a house for 15 years with a slow gas leak, and <laughs> even the kids are getting a little weird, and they start hearing things, and getting paranoid, and. I mean, like, yeah, like paranoia, like low-level gas exposure leads to like. And clothing dye too. Oh yeah. Right. Clothing dye. Um, and if you're mad as a hatter. Yeah, mad hatter. Yeah. 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 You wore poison on your head all day. What, what, so. what was what was it specifically? I'm trying to remember. Uh, is it mercury? Oh, is mercury? mercury? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, they keep sweating into your yeah. forehead until you. It's gone. <laughs> it's yeah. your brain's right there. So. It's, yeah. Well. Yeah. That's where I keep mine. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. And I love. I love a good ghost story. I, I mean, like I brought Me a few. Too. I think. And uh, one thing that I, we mentioned was uh, scary stories to tell in the dark. Mm. I don't know how many of you all. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm cheating with my story later. It's the treasury. <laughs> I remember there was like a one, two, and three. This is all three. Yeah. Ah, fantastic. And I, I heard that Guillermo del Toro was attached to Are they making direct some yeah. of those. Whoa. Something like that. Like I mean, two pages, nice. that's going to be an interesting. Yeah. But in anthology, I would just let her somebody I really yeah. remember. If it's so not going to look right. exactly like the images, though, like, why are you doing I mean, it? That's true. Ah, somebody asked, is this a live stream? It is indeed live. Is this we a live stream? You. Yes. Or is it in a um, dead internet? stream? I can <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're an undead stream. An undead stream. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is what happens when Critical Role leaves for a while. Is I get to hijack the shit. The <laughs> you can make it in your own image. Oh yeah. my! Yeah, you know, so everybody was saying that I give Telson uh, an inch. Give him an inch. He thinks he's a ruler. And suddenly he kills everybody in the administration. <laughs> it's so much fun. And I'm, and I'm like, this is this is just this is this is great. I w I w we actually have a thing in, in 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 I don't know which if any of us have worked with Misty before and done the seance. Yes, uh, we have Misty a. Lee Misty Lee is the Lee. best. Uh, a friend of ours actually runs a seance at the Magic Castle, which right. is a. Oh. Which is a Ryan just my, my, my look is inspired by her with all the ruffles. In fact, I texted her. I was like, "I'm doing Gather Your Ghosts with Talisa and Erica," and she goes, "Want to borrow my dress?" And I was like, "Yes!" <laughs> and she was just like, "Just kidding." I was like, "Why would you do that to her?" It's amazing. You would look great in that dress. I, it's so slim. It could be very short though. I on know. Me. <laughs> Not nearly my height, but yeah. It's yeah. It was and like I'm a big fan of the old all the faking. The funny sure. ways you could fake. I, I've always wanted to live in a. I mean, Marcy and I have talked about this because mm. we're we're goth buds from way back. Yeah, <laughs> hi. <laughs> I met you in Helsinki cosplay. It was so nice. I know. Wow. Yes, big fan. It oh, wow. was a fun. Yeah. But like like figuring out ways like electronically haunt your house so that like at night if you Ooh. have people staying over like the books rattle. <laughs> yes. And then your house is just all creepy. So. <laughs> that was, I think that was the first time we ever hung out is that we had a Cthulhu. We tried to battle. Forces mm -hmm. of the Elder Gods in my house. In your basement. In my basement. <laughs> and it was still when Blender first moved in, it was under heavy renovation, so they embraced that thoroughly. Oh, that's terrifying. And it was terrifying. The weirdest yeah. part of that yeah. story is that you have a basement in California. Yeah, yeah. yeah. seriously. Yeah. 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 It's not even technically a basement because you it's come in the stories, yeah, and then you go downstairs, but you can still get out because I live on a hillside, which is yeah. what they tell you never to do. It's you are so. going to slide into the room. Yeah. Undercover, <laughs> goth, undercover goth says, Halloween. Oh, oh, no. Yeah. 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 Oh, yes. Oh, oh, yes. That's worth a point or it's two. Been, it's been great because, you know, I've sort of been leaning into sort of the gothy punky thing, and so all of this has been very, very good mm. for me. You've been such a good influence, Talisman. Yeah. Thank you, I'm here to help. <laughs> and I know that you've also, you've got your web series, which I'm a big fan of, too. Oh, my so. That's right. I, yeah, I was just watching the episode where KG runs, runs, a, runs, the, runs the, the ghost over. Yeah. <laughs> never never <laughs> stop for the ghost in the middle of the road. No. Always run them over. It's yeah. actually based on a true story with my little sister. Well, oh. It's not, okay, it's not first, as exciting as well. Ah, no, shall we first, get started? First, sto yeah. first story yeah. of the yeah. Yeah. That's not the one you were going to tell. <laughs> I know it's not the one you were going to tell, but it's a, a story. story. It's like a hypothetical story. It's a little okay. sister story. I was driving with my little sister, and she's like, my character in the show, I play Jade, and KG plays Anton, and uh, she's based off my little sister, so she's just the coolest mofo in the world. Anyway, she was driving. <laughs> they live in Virginia, so I was visiting them, and it was like, there's no lights, and it was like the hillside, and there's like this fog that kept rolling in, and she was like... <laughs> Like that. <laughs> <laughs> you totally jumped! Ryan! Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Did you, did you More of that, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I feel like I need to 
you need to warn, I'd swing elbows. So if you're <laughs> like, oh, no, yeah. it could be violence. So tonight, I'm yeah. Sorry. Yeah, we'll yeah, you right. clocked a guy with Twice. a nerf gun, nerf gun, and he had to. Glue his face shut. No, no, no. Ooh. Let's let's Wait, contextualize whoa. this. Yeah, I'm let's with her floor. Like he snuck up on her and she and she she whacked him. She's like, "Don't do that." He did it again. The second time I took blood and he didn't do it. Third. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> he, he, glued, he glued he glued his face shut. He yeah, had to glue his Darwinism. Face yeah, <laughs> like the first time I felt bad because I was like, "Oh, I'm really sorry." <laughs> the second time I was like, "Fucking deserved it." <laughs> <laughs> You gotta, you gotta be careful with those nerf wars, man. Yeah. They get brutal. <laughs> so ours have body count. Yeah, yeah. No. yeah. Our <laughs> friend unzipped the side of her arms. Yep. yep. Yeah. So, so Mitt, we we got anyway, this. Oh, no, 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 again, it, yeah, was, no, we're there. It's so. This is gonna sound so anticlimactic. I'm into it. The opening scene of Ghosts and Stuff was based on this conversation I had with my sister where like the fog started rolling in and we were like, like that. Like that. <laughs> and we were, it was a 45 minute drive out into the <laughs> middle of like nowhere because she had to dog sit for somebody who lived in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. And so like on the way there, it was getting really creepy and like the radio kept cutting in and out and I was like, Brianna, what would you do? Exactly. I was like, what would you do if like some like chick with like a nightgown, like in the ring, just like walked out in the middle of the road. She's like, I'd run that bitch over. Pick up a woman in white, man. Don't do it. No, no, lady, not lady, not lady in white, man. No. Don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm there. I'm there. Did yeah, no one see thank Stephen you. King's Gerald's game? She right. could have been like needing your help. What if it's just a woman, like a like a real life woman? Yeah, one Supernatural or season six? Because like, we need to know. I, f I feel like if I were wearing like like a like a white nightgown walking yeah. in the middle of the woods, I you, feel like I'd be like, okay, this you, is gonna happen. <laughs> I brought my oh. tiny my tiny vampire oh, mouse. No. Oh, oh, Necromance, where all good things in Los Angeles come from. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I know. Nancy's, yeah. Nancy's my girl. Oh, yeah. I love Nancy, yeah. I used to have a, like a registry there. It was bad. <laughs> <laughs> you really had a registry there? My parents were like, would just come in and was like, we're, ta we're like Taliesin's parents. What are we supposed to buy? She's like, I've got a list. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> She's well done. Amazing. Well I love done. that woman. We have a store in LA where people can buy dead things, and they used to sell mm -hmm. coffins and stuff like that, but not so much yeah, these not days. So much. They downsized. Yeah, yeah they, they did. They kind of shrunk a bit. Yeah. Yeah. So um, so like coffins are such a space taker. I used they to work are. for a place that rented coffins and, and stuff like that. That's right. Yeah. Lauren yeah. used to make body parts. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Oh. yeah. And body parts, and, parts and, and organs. I specialize and in small Anybody organs and tongues and eyes. Make body parts. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> <It's not Yeah. laughs> uh, but we we had about eight coffins that the, the business would rent out, and they're just a pain. Yeah. Because they're not really meant to be moved. They're meant to be viewed once and then put in the ground and. Not and they're not really comfy. <laughs> no. They're really not. No, they're really not. They're just. Could you imagine somebody Coffins. leaving a bad <laughs> Yelp review for coffee? Was bumpier than I thought. Would not recommend. <laughs> trying, trying really quickly. Would not use again. If, does anybody have a good have a good idea for a for an the name? What would Ike an IKEA coffin? What would it be called? Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Uh, there'd be a lot of umlauts. I'm trying yes. to like, like, for like sure. Like a dead splut or something. Like, yeah. like, <laughs> yeah. 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 Dead splut. Like like that hopping? might be the <laughs> dead splut. Dead splut. No, that sounds very German. Well, yeah, it's, it's like it would Under, be like undergrounded. <laughs> yeah. Undergrounded. Undergrounded. Underground. That'd be the brand of coffin. <laughs> I love. I, no, it would be Billy or something. Like that. <laughs> 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 what did Billy do? It would be Kyle that? the coffin. You're like, what? Kyle. 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 Yeah, Kyle. Yeah, Kyle. Yeah, but it would, uh, it would be I don't want to be Kyle. buried in Kyle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hilarious. <laughs> and what do you do with the extra? I guess you bury the extra parts too. Yeah. <laughs> you, <laughs> you don't yeah. never need them. Do you? Just came with like three little, three little Look, sprockets. It'd be such a pain in the ass to put together, though. Yeah. So directions. Oh yeah. This part you have to do once the body's already in. Yeah. You're like, ah, shit. I'm gonna take that. <laughs> or you're doing it yourself, and you're doing it yourself, yeah. so you got to be in it, and, you and like finally, yeah. 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 and no, everyone's gonna important. be so surprised when they learn that only one side is lined. <laughs> <laughs> like only the side that opened is lined. The feet is just like it's yeah. just box. Like That's just box. Why would, yeah, why would you're not gonna waste the fabric. Like, if you need to break out, it's just particle boards. You're just like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're done. Uma Thurman, your way out. Yeah. There is I an add-on well, with a bell. Back on back in the Victorian <laughs> ages, you mm -hmm. know, people were terrified of being buried alive by accident. Does it happen? It happened. It happened a lot because they had different illnesses had and they couldn't test for they them. They didn't know and what comas were. They'd wake basically. up and they didn't know what comas were, so people yeah. would wake up and they'd be six feet under. And so they, what they did was they would tie day. a string to their finger <sighs> and then run the string up through a little uh, chute um, up through the ground, and it would be a tied to a little bell with a clapper. Uh, and so if you woke up and you found yourself in a coffin, you just 
ring and then somebody Bold would come and, un, and unbury you. Like Jeeves. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you could be ringing for like a while. You could be ringing for a while. I mean, like, people spent more time in gra graveyards back then, from what I understand, yeah. but still. I mean, right. but either way, it could feel like an eternity. I mean, no, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so why was this, why did it only become an issue in the Victorian age? Because I yeah. imagine people have been buried alive uh, for no, all time. Oh, it was, it was, did that they was finally they, realize it? That was when they started figuring out ways around it, and people kind of freaked out. Well, I mean, like, mostly people, it was one of the reasons people thought like vampires and such no, existed because yeah. you'd open up and you would was it a f I'm I'm 99 no, bring it, bring it. You're in, you're in. but I'm pretty sure it was a flood there was a flood and I want to say I don't know if it was New Orleans just something. No, it was the New Orleans. Of, it was yeah. one where they all yeah. popped yeah. up. They all yeah, popped up, and some of the coffins had scratch marks. Oh, oh that's no. right. Oh, that's that's right. right. Yeah. So New Orleans, by the way, and I'm a big fan of New Orleans. And if yeah. you're a friend, there's some great ghosts. I've actually this is my one of my collections of New Orleans ghost it, stories. Right. They and like uh, and if I've got a friend who actually does the ghost tours there, just <gasps> really good. So yeah. good. If he's ever there. So yeah, if, if, but he's he's yeah. kind of doing other stuff now, but. Yeah. You would also body you stack you don't a lot of times. You have the you family crypt. Well, yeah. yeah. So there's when you viewings mm -hmm. too. Like there's viewings it's like that, but there would be basically like okay, I my my mother has passed away, we have buried her. Oh, my father has passed away, let's use the same thing. And apparently that also happened. Mm -hmm. They would pull up and be like Mom wasn't shaped like that when she went in. Yeah, they got all that sort oh, of thing. So. But yeah, th th in New Orleans they learned that you do not you do not yeah. bury people in swamps. No. <laughs> no. Because, no. Yeah, you just don't My bury people in swamps because they just but all those Pop coffins right popped right back up yep. the first time they had a flood, and they're like, "Oh, that's why they had they have the uh, necropolises is what mm -hmm. they call them." In, in ah, uh, some people are saying that is the origin of the the term graveyard mm -hmm. shift. The people who would patrol, listening for the bells. And oh. like, Thank you, Chef. Oh. Yes. Uh, somebody says, uh, "Shut down." says, "Origin of the term dead, dead ringer." ringer. <laughs> oh, oh, well, done. very nice. Yeah. Chat. I, I love call our chat. BS on that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it feels good. It feels good. Because a ringer is right. someone who looks like. That's not what dead ringer means. Yeah, but it might somebody who looks like their dead. Is, no, no, dead, dead ringer is somebody who looks, who looks exactly, exactly like it. Yeah. Like them. Yeah. I'll take a like, look at that. Though. I mean, I fine. No. But I'm just gonna put a little <laughs> hashtag. Like, yeah, don't we'll Google that. We'll there. Google that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do there. not have like, her convinced. Nah, I've seen that I've sounds things, good, things hop occasionally. I'm a Newton. I'll check out. Could you imagine having that job? That's the cushiest job in the world. I used to work on my novel. I'm gonna look at my eyeball. You didn't have eyeballs. But then you could possibly have to dig up a body. I'm gonna lose it. That kind of sucks. You know, we don't get to it. Like fast the, enough, like, like this guy's done. That's true. Yeah, one, like, like yeah. nine out of ten nights are real quiet. Right. Yeah. 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 That one guy is going to be like, oh, why me? Yeah. 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 Like, was the bell protected? Because if it got super windy, that's a fucking creepy. Okay. Oh. <laughs> if, I, if I've learned anything about a lot of the people who run those cemeteries, I'm pretty sure they were just like, it'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be. Yeah, if their sense of humor is anything like working in a place that makes dead bodies, it's. Yeah, no, it's. Wait, yeah. makes dead, like, like prosthetic dead bodies? Or yeah, like fake dead bodies. You don't make dead bodies, not creep. make bodies dead. <laughs> She's not a mercenary, she, she, as far as I know. She she making making dead bodies is dead. somehow the only thing easier than making live ones, in my opinion, <laughs> <laughs> to be fair. It's not a lot less, there a lot less time, no, 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 a lot less no, no, commitment. No. Yeah. One, one of those requires a lot more lime. That's true. <laughs> but I have a good stock, so it's usually okay. okay. Are we talking about dissolving bodies? Lie or lime? Lime. Oh, lie. Okay. Like, okay. Lie. Where is this story Whatever you're gone? into, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, I've seen you spitting blood before. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, we're. I mean, like, I would say we got off talk, but except we, we didn't. We didn't. Yeah. This yeah. is the talk. This is great. We're dead on, if you uh. will. Uh. <laughs> Corny joke count. Where are we at? Um, but yeah, we we asked everybody to bring a scary story, mm -hmm. um, whether it's one that you were ready to recite or to read and uh, I was wondering who who might want to go No first. and we've got a, we've got a nice we're going everywhere from like from like the 19th century to like even like uh, you talked about the modern you actually are the one who turned creepy me on pasta. to creepy pasta. creepy pastas I didn't know what they were before you showed them to me No you, oh, you look so good, good. Oh, I, am I, I love creepy pasta, pasta. Internet I, I am internet start old and, and tell us uh, <laughs> explain first of all what creepy pasta is What so is a creepy pasta Creepy pasta is like the newest day and age version of a ghost story Saved by the bell true sorry thank you Wow so, um, a creepy pasta. They first started out as anonymous stories all over the internet, and uh, they would comp. And the why they're called creepy pasta is people would copy and paste them mm -hmm. without knowing who the owner of the story was. So it became kind of like an urban legend all across the internet. Mm. So there's quite a few of them. Some uh, are really short. Some of them are extremely long. And uh, if you've read any of the long ones, you know that it is worth 
the Reef. I've read a couple. Yeah. Yes. What, what are some, just before you start, what are some famous ones or some ones people should look up? The Russian Experiment. Russian if, Sleep Experiment. The right? Russian right. Sleep yeah. Experiment. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, read old. that one. That's a brutal one. During the oh. night, oh. no lights on. Yeah. Except the glow of a laptop. Like Slenderman had its origins. A Slenderman, Slenderman. I think mm -hmm. Slenderman, Slenderman came from a creepypasta. Yeah. And then there is also uh, Pyrico? something co yes. Pyrico. 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 Channel Zero. They I just started Pyrico. watching No End House. I'm really digging No End House. I'm excited for that. Is it based on House of Blue Leaves at all? or like? I don't know House of Blue no. Oh, it's a, it's a novel, and it's all Oh, no, this is it's another creepy. No, this is about, this is like a ghost house that, you go through all these doors and no one ever, like people, you always can exit, but if you make it all the way to the sixth room, yeah. you never come out. I really and want just in the middle it's of the really show, messed like, up. Scooby-Doo to come out, like, oh, that, that this hallway <laughs> scene that <laughs> everyone <laughs> opens that door. No, no End House <laughs> has been <laughs> fucking my shit up. It's really yeah. good. Like, it's scary. Well, uh, would you like to share one of yeah. these? Yeah. we're starting, though. It's time. Oh, yeah. 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 Was that, was that, was that the signal to start the show? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. We can't bring, yeah. bring fire into the yeah, studio. Yeah, we've made a studio so. we've tried. here. So Smoke Erica wanted bag. to microwave these. <laughs> <laughs> That's a legitimate way to no, make sure. No, but it's holding it up to the light. It'll be so fine. we've got, we've got bake handles if you care to, but otherwise, have, <laughs> I will eat have some s'mores. It's right. a sashimi s'more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> This is amazing. <laughs> All right, oh then I'm gonna set nice. this up yeah. real quick. Yeah. Right. I was gonna say you have you have to wait because you have to <gasps> read. Yeah, you don't get to eat that till you're done. I'm setting it up. It, 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 it looks nice. So yeah. In case yeah. microwaving uh, still happens. And I ate mine before we even started because I couldn't <laughs> wait. <laughs> Spoken like a true person. Who loves As you read this, you're just gonna be like crunch, crunch. I'll just I'll just arm you in the in the face. Arm you in the face. Arm you start throwing up. All right. So this one is called masterpiece. I've been lying down for hours now. It's 5.35 a.m. and there's not much I can do. You know what the worst part about my situation is? I'm in the same room with my parents. They keep looking at me and I can't help but look back and trying to not cry or scream. Their eyes are focused on me and their mouths are wide open. There's a strong scent of blood and I'm paralyzed with fear. Here's the thing. The second that I make any hint that I'm not asleep anymore, I'm completely fucked. I will die, and there's nobody around to save me. I've been trying to think of a way out, but the only idea I have is to rush for my bedroom door, run outside the front door, and scream for help hoping any neighbors hear me. It's risky, but if I stay here, I'll surely die. He's waiting for me to wake up, and he sees to see his masterpiece. You're probably wondering what's going on. I do get ahead of myself sometimes. About three hours ago, I heard a scream from the outside of the house. I got up and went to check on the noise and realized that I had to use the restroom. Instead of doing the smart thing and investigating, I used the bathroom first. I could have gotten myself killed right then for the stupid actions that I did. But I actually did my business and took a peek outside the bedroom. There was blood on the carpet. I got very worried and ran back into my room and hid under the sheets like the pussy I was. I tried to convince myself to go back to sleep, that it was just some really vivid dream or something. I heard my bedroom door open. Like a terrified child, I peeked under the blankets to see what was going on. I could see something dragging my dead parents into the room. Whatever it was, it wasn't human. I can tell you that. It was hairless, with no eyes and no clothing. It walked like a caveman, with its back slouched, and it dragged my parents. But this thing was much smarter than any caveman. It was aware of what I was doing. It propped my dad up on the edge of my bed and made him face me. Then it sat my mother down in the chair and positioned her towards me as well. After that, it started rubbing its hands on the walls, staining them with blood. And then a circle with a pentagram in it. To finish it off, it scribbled a message on the wall that I couldn't read in the darkness. It then positioned itself under my bed, waiting to strike. The scariest thing is now, my eyes have adjusted to the darkness since then, and I can read the message on the wall. I don't wanna look at it because it's terrifying to think about it, but I feel the need to look before I'm killed. I peek at the creature's masterpiece and it says, I know you're awake. <gasps> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs>
Creepy pasta. Creepy pasta. <laughs> Erica's regretting this entire. Why episode. did I do that? Why did I set this up? I had weeks of producing this, and I knew this was gonna happen. And I knew that I'd be swimming in a bed alone, gripping it and going, "I want to go to the bathroom, but I can't now." Those of you who don't How know, how is this going? Why is it going? <laughs> For the very reason that you think. For those of you who don't know, Erica is is just the best audience for frightening things because she snaps really well. Hey, almost every Monday I do a stream called Scaredy Cats where my friend and I dress up as cats and play horror games. Oh! Yeah. 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 If, you went, if you ever want to see the saddest oh. thing that Don't could possibly happen to a Vibe, uh, <laughs> look up Erica Vive R.I.P. Yeah, on, uh, on, uh, yeah. On oh YouTube. Oh, I'm going to do that when I get home. Oh, yeah. Don't wear headphones. Don't. Yeah, it's Lauren yeah. also. I Lauren. I like to come through the window, personally. Yeah, Lauren does. <laughs> she'll, she'll open up the window in the studio and be like, BOW! Uh, there's, a, there's a step ladder there all the time. <laughs> Uh, it's that's, literally. That's, my, that's, that's a good harassment. story. Yeah, that's a really really good movie. Movie. It's it's had a little bit of a. Oh god, what was that movie that I just loved so much with it, with the creepy, with the with the, uh, with the creepy thing with the book, the children's book. What? The Necronomicon. Uh, a lot of those. No, there was a uh, recent Ash one with the. The page master. The page master. And you know what? You never find the exit. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us his favorite horror um, movie. The page master. Do I have a favorite horror movie? Well, you um, food, I'm eating. That is something to ask yourself. I have yourself. a lot of them. Yeah. I don't know. House of the, I mean, like, or like, what was it? Uh, Mansion, uh, 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 what was it? In the Mouth of Madness is pretty good. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I really like uh, the, uh, um, what was the one with Daniel Radcliffe a little while ago? Oh, oh, oh yeah. like the, he was a corpse, right? Woman, well, uh, woman, woman in black. black. That was really we good. Oh. <laughs> uh, that one's <laughs> really funny. Yeah. yeah. Black is the movie. I yeah. saw uh, God, Orphanage is really good. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll tell you this horror movies are the most fun movies to make. Oh, That's true. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. so. I've worked sure. on so too, many yeah. terrible bad like, movies <laughs> that will never be seen, but they're the most fun because you're just like. And I, like, oh, Charlie literally. went and saw it with me. So I tweeted oh, about yeah. that. I haven't seen it. He was magical. What? Horrifying. Yeah. It's a very, I've very, had no very, free time. It's a very, <laughs> very this. good film. Very well done. It's like a classic 80s, uh, like early 90s adventure film. Yeah. Um, character development's great. It looks beautiful. Oh, yeah. But it was so scary. My favorite part during the movie is Erica turns into Nancy Kerrigan from the 90s and just goes, <laughs> Why? <laughs> 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 the cutest thing in the world. So Liz was kind enough to go as well, and she and Blondie and I were squeezing each other, and Charlie was sitting, sitting over there, just sitting over there, going like, "Hey!" Because Charlie fears nothing. <laughs> Poor night I fear everything. Just I just don't fear movies. <laughs> Sorry, very loud, everybody. Like, you guys have been really funny, by the way. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, Dad. <laughs> thanks, Dad. Oh, Amazing. Erica, have you? I was gonna say, I know you have zero free time. I just, uh, but you should watch the scary movie I was just in. Uh, I just got to do a Friday the right. 13th fan film called. Oh, with the with the with the more. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah. Many more. Uh, I was there with more. Did you yeah. die? <laughs> Uh, I was actually a stunt double for Jason Voorhees. Oh, nice. Uh, <laughs> and so it was great because I, I mean, I've never really been into uh, horror movies. I really like the stories and things because so my fun. imagination is far scarier than any film crew has ever right. you know, managed to be. So we and interviewed, I grew up, we interviewed the crew from yeah, that exactly. on, Vin, a, Vin on a concession stand um, almost a year ago. But, uh, but yeah, I also grew up with like special effects makeup aunt, and so she was like, oh, here's how they do that. And I was like, oh, it's, now it's totally yeah. not real. But this was great because I got to go there yeah. in the full suit and I'm topping out at around seven feet tall, you know, in with everything. Nice. And I they would put me in, and we were actually in an abandoned campground that had burned down and then had been rebuilt and then had been reabandoned and nobody knew why. And the film crew oh, wow. we know found why. it. They were filming at this actual campground and uh, the, the teaser and the guys who owned it were like, eh, oh, this is, oh, you're doing this, this is great. Are you guys going to go to the actual abandoned campground? And they went, I'm sorry, what is it? What, real? And they're like, oh, if you go, like, Ten more miles, and you see this little road, and there's all these rusty chains. If you just kind of like hop that and go up like this pass and stuff, I have a video of us driving up there, and I thought we we're gonna die every time driving to the location. <laughs> wow! And uh, and there's giant windows blown out, and so it's the most amazing location ever. So I basically got to the public. Did you go? It's what? Can you can, uh, can the can public we go? go? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, not since we filmed this because it was <laughs> yeah, no. it's, it, yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean it's a thing <laughs> Yeah, it's a thing. They're trying to get. If they get enough interest, I'm sure they wanted to actually do a screening of the movie at the location. 
Yeah. Which would, would be terrifying. Uh, but it was great suiting up the Bear? first time. Yeah, in Big Bear. I think we almost bought that. Oh my God! Yeah, they we were looking at they were looking at properties. Yep. Sorry, uh, I was just putting that together. I'm like, I we yeah. looked at this property. For sale. It's amazing. We were it's looking at like properties. Yeah. Cool, it's Wait, got a what? giant, yep. and it's got all these mini cabins. Mini and cabins. All, like, yep. Destroyed yeah. and, and it just went away. Yeah. It yeah, just, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's, well, we were we were there. Yeah. Uh, well, it was great coming out <laughs> the so first funny. time, and the crew who had already been filming and stuff. I was just there for stunts. And I came around the corner, and the first shot ever was me coming through double doors that were boarded up, and I actually got to break everything nice. down. Oh. And I came through, I came through with this machete and everything, and the silhouettes and the backlighting, and the sound guy shrieked. And he went, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Sorry! <I'm> Sorry! <laughs> and everyone else just went, oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> And so it was so great being able to like be in my tiny chair in 30 degree weather when it's raining and I basically covered myself completely and you couldn't see me and they come over and be like, hey Brian, Brian. And I was like, hey guys, when I'm sleeping, just like, just pull the thing off. And I would hear and they'd pull it off and I'd go, what's up? No. And they would just flip out and I almost made a producer like impale himself. Oh, oh, no. like, there was a barrel of axes. I know, can't like, believe it. Yeah. Like, we got it was so much fun to shoot, though. Yeah, yeah. Got, Check it out. Never hike alone. Interesting stories. So I know. I mean, we got one yeah. ghost story. We got out. one ghost story. Can we get one from this side of the table? Yeah. Sure. So we have something short. Jeremy. You know what? It's. Uh, we, got, we got about five minutes before we Five come. minutes? Ah, we got five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah, loose. Yeah, loose five yeah. minutes. Five minutes. Yeah, Jared and Hermie had it. I'm going to tell a story that is about a hotel here in Los Angeles, Santa Monica Beach. Sure. That I was. um involved with. Oh. You were dating a hotel? <laughs> <laughs> How was it? Was dating it's, 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 it's complicated. No, this uh -huh. story, I'm involved in the story. <laughs> so the story is about a, uh, a hotel in Santa Monica that's still here. It's a boutique hotel. It's very nice. People, you've probably been to it. You probably had some good times there. And it's, uh, there was someone there that was a regular guest uh, that would stay there every once in a while and kind of wondering what his deal was and he was probably getting away from his family and doing some pretty awful things at this hotel uh but there was a young lady that was working the front desk for about a year her name was evelyn and she was you know becoming a a, a good regular with everybody as far as the, the regular guests would get to know her she was very friendly very personable and uh so there's this this one guest who would stay there in this one particular room on the eighth floor and he calls down uh, one night about 10 o'clock and he says, um, Evelyn, um, I, I, can't, I can't do this anymore. And she's like, well, you, you need to check out. Like, you know, what's going on? And she says, no, he says, no, I, uh, I can't do this life anymore. You know, I, I, I just can't. She's like, Mr. Thompson, is there something we can do? You know, he says, he says, no, I need you to be the last person I speak to. I need you to tell my family that I'm sorry for everything that I did to them. And she says, I don't. I don't know what you're talking about, sir. Like, why don't you come down, speak to us here at the front desk, and where we can send someone up to help you. She's like, no. Like, do not send anyone up here. I do not want to speak to anyone. I want you to be the last person I talk to. And she says, well, like, what do you mean the last person? He says, goodbye. Jumps off. Eighth floor, smack onto the parking lot. Done. OK, totally commit suicide. So she's obviously traumatized. You know, has to leave. Everything's done. Ten years later, I start working at this hotel. And I'm, you know, learning the system a little bit. I'm working the front desk. And, uh, you know, they get, I get a call on my day off, and they say, hey, Jeremy, can you work uh, an overnight shift? You know, the overnight guy called out. I was like, sure. You know, whatever. It should be pretty easy, right? And so I, uh, I take the shift, you know, and it's about 3-ish, 3.30-ish, ish and i am like passing out, and I get a, a, a phone call uh, from room 814. Uh, 8.12 was the room that the guest always stayed in, the one that he jumped out the fucking balcony and smacked on. Get a call from 814 saying, you know, it's super loud up here. These people, like, I'm trying to sleep. It's like 3.30 in the morning. The room next door is being super loud. TV's on. There's like banging on the walls there's people yelling like god damn it <laughs> what is why? this why <laughs> well played well just played. like that when i find out yeah for those of you who don't know we may have irritated the crew tonight yeah and i think they may be taking revenge <laughs> <laughs> absolutely god so, so no 
I didn't. She I calls. This. She says. <laughs> there's banging on the walls. <laughs> and I say, well, there's no one in the room on either side of you. So I'm not sure what that is. Are you sure? It's like, listen, like, I can hear it. I'm right here. Like, can you please either call this person or send someone up, you know, to check this out? So like, All right. Grab my flashlight. Go up there. Get off on the eighth floor. And elevator opens up and it's like freezing cold. God. This is the summer. Okay. Oh. Uh, Santa Monica. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's cold. Yeah. yeah. I get off the elevator. I'm walking down the hall. It's Reeks, you know, I'm like, what is this? What is going on up here? It's super loud. There's like TV going, there's loud noises, you know. So I'm come down the hallway and take a right, go to room 812. As soon as I get to the front of the door, everything stops. No noise, nothing. So I'm like, okay, this is weird, you know. Nobody's supposed to be in this room. Nobody's checked into the room. Nobody's been in this room for like a week. So I have a little door stopper thing. Use my knock on the door, you know. Anyone in there, you know, use my master key, open up the door, put the door stopper in the door, enter the room. Pitch black, okay. Let's try to turn on my flashlight. <gasps> Why is this not working? You know, enter the room, cold as shit, and then I look up, and there's a, the balcony door is open. <gasps> wind blowing the curtains you know like totally freaky and i'm like okay you know like i said nobody's checked into this room in at least a week it's a penthouse room you know it's very expensive walk in and so i'm like all right let me just shut this door maybe it was like noises from outside as soon as i put my hand on the handle <gasps> boom <laughs> The door to the room that was propped open slams shut. No. I drop my flashlight, smashes no. the glass in the no. flashlight. I take off out of the room. Okay? Oh my Good God. Man. Good man. Like, I'm not, no job is worth this. Yeah. No, 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 no job's worth this. So I get to the uh, the elevator. I'm freaking out, shaking. You know, I'm like, what am I supposed to go? I'm like, press the lobby. Where's the lobby? Like, fuck. You know, press the button. You know, I'm recognizing the, you know, look at the, the floors as they're changing. You know, it's like eighth floor, seventh floor. Felt like everything was just in slow motion. Sixth floor. Realized that fifth floor, my flashlight. Oh, no. I left my flashlight in the room. No, come on, man. No, Smash. You did it. No belt. No belt. Gets worse. Gets worse. Gets worse. Why didn't you know belt? Elevator reaches the lobby. I'm like, fuck the flashlight. You know, like, I don't yes. care. Get down. I'm like, Walked into the front desk, I'm shaking. There's like only one other person on staff. It's a housekeeper. She like doesn't even speak English. I'm like, I don't even know what to say to this woman. And I, I walk to the desk. What do I see sitting there? Oh <gasps> no. no. The flashlight. No! no. <laughs> um, I think we're gonna have to reconstitute. Uh, <laughs> so why do you take the stairs? <laughs> <laughs> why don't we uh, Needless to we... say I never worked overnight. Yeah, shift. no. <laughs> Graveyard shift. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Never again. So, why, don't, why don't we why don't we uh, cut to a little music? And yeah, we'll yeah. See if we can, uh, we'll, we'll see if we can Flight chase the, the crew away yeah. from backstage so the haircut can come back out. Stop grinning, dude. That's so weird. <laughs> I am spinning from the back. Hey Ladies now. and gentlemen, let's have a little bit more windows to sky so we can uh, breathe deeply. I'm <laughs> This is my newest song. It's our paganist, witchiest song, a calling forth of the spirits, an invocation. It's about all the magical archetypes coming together to one moment. And it's totes appropes for Halloween times. It begins with the hissing of the wind. It increases with the bumping of the geese of the skin. Footsteps on floor, floor. 
to interview all of you. Hello. I hope this cord, oh, this cord does not go very far. I'm going to, I'm just going to yank on it and see what happens. Get ready for me, Jeff. The sound guys love that. Yeah, this can only end well. Okay. One, two, three. No. <laughs> Jeff is running around in there and is not pleased. Not pleased at all. Is this, is this plugged directly into something? Should I not be yanking on this? All right. Okay. You, you don't know what it's attached to. All right. To. Okay. Oh, it's connected directly to Jeff. Look at that. Hello, everybody. Oh, my goodness. This is, I, I just noticed that you have a Ouija board. Oh, 
sort of thing. Uh, hello. Oh, gosh. See, see what you did? You manifested a puppet. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to Gather Your Ghost. It's, it's such a pleasure to meet you. Hello. Uh, what is your name? Oh, oh, this is so very confused. Don't look over. What? <laughs> My name is Dewberry. Sometimes I guest with the band. Uh, every now and then they um, they do ukulele solos and I get to sing a little. That's true. We just played Solvang Fairy Fest yeah. and Dewberry there did a beautiful uh, uh, fake trumpet solo yeah, for you. Tonight You Belong to Me because <laughs> the real trumpet couldn't make it. It was indistinguishable from I, the real yeah. thing. I, I super love that song and, and I hope I get a chance to hear you sing at some point. Oh, well, <laughs> I mean, you know, <laughs> I could stay here all night. <laughs> good, good. We have until 11 p.m. Uh, but I <laughs> Thank you so much for coming by. Um, I am a huge fan of all of yours from way back, actually. Um, I, I want to say four years ago, at my very first lab with Jarrett, um, I was there before I was a performer with them, before I knew anybody in the scene, before I, I, I was gothy. Um, I heard this incredible cover of Four of Fortune Souls from uh, Little Mermaid. And it was just the sexiest song that I'd ever heard. And I, I just I remember like wondering, oh, I should figure out the band's name here. And I never got it. Um, and then Joseph ended up hanging out at my house a lot. Right. Yeah. I was, uh, I was yeah. at her house one time at a party. And yeah. she looks and she goes, oh, wait, Born Fortunate Soul. Born wait, Fortunate Souls. What are you doing in my living what are you room? Doing that? And, and funny, funnily <laughs> enough, that happened with Tal. That is how I reconnected with Talison too. What are you doing in my living room? My house is a magical place. But uh, so how long have you all been together and, uh, and performing together? Wow. There's, there's been a various incarnations of, of yeah, this. Yeah, I've been doing Gosh. Windows um, to Sky since uh, I was in high school, just, just out of high school. But, um, but these guys have been with me, like, uh, aside from Rachel, who is brand new to us. Who has been with us, what, a week? <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> week a week and a half? half? A week and a half. I've known, I've been friends with Joseph for a long, long time, and I've listened to his song. I play piano quite a bit. But I play by ear. I do. But I play a lot of improv and other things. So I'd heard Joseph's music once a long time ago. And Joseph was like, would you like to join this band? And I listened to the stuff. And I was like, I don't know what time that is. That's like seven, eight, three, four. <laughs> it keeps crazy. switching keys. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know if I have the time, the time. <laughs> to, to learn all the intricacies the of this. And, yeah. and then I and then. And then I did, and now I'm in it. You it's did, beautiful. and it's fantastic. With the, with the real piano. It's, um, it's so beautiful. And so this is this is Joseph, and actually Hi. some of you know Bennett from a previous episode of Gather Your Party. She was um, in the video game. She was Sam Samus Aaron. Samus Aaron. Also, you know, just throwing this out there, Eric and I have in fact worked on another project together. We have. Yeah, we were live. Right. Well, we were. Uh, we did. Well. First, we did uh, the Library Bards video. Oh, yes, 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 yes. We were elves in yes. the Library Bards video. She was, she was the the Arwen to my Galadriel. But, what but song uh, was that? she was. That oh, was that Star was Trek one, right? Th that was Gandalf. That was Gandalf. Gandalf. Yeah, was Gandalf. Yes. yes. But uh, yes, that's right. Uh, she is my commanding officer in Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. Because if you need an angry space mom, apparently that is my <laughs> She's niche. She's my angry space mom. I am everybody's angry space Hashtag mom. Hashtag angry space mom. Hashtag, Hashtag angry space, space mom. mom. Let's, so let's make it you, uh, you know, Hashtag little, Metroids are people too. Yeah, a little a little plug there. Uh, Battlestar Galactica Deadlock is a fantastic uh, sort of strategy game. If you like Battlestar or strategy war games, mm -hmm. you're going to love that one. And Bennett, it's like her voice is, oh, I'm just very, ugh. I'm just very sort of ugh. restrained and yet fed up with all of you constantly, which is fun because I get to teach you how to spaceship. Yes. So that's fun absolutely. for you. That's right. So you're, Sorry. you're, you're yeah. talking to the player and being exasperated with them? Pretty much, yes. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm exasperated with everyone. I am <laughs> oh, well, yeah. right. I'm um, an angry military lady. And, and you, you are, you are uh, uh, a cane? You yes, are... I am. I am a cane. We, we're yes. allowed to talk about that now. Yeah, yeah so I am Admiral Kane. Admiral Kane. Am Admiral Kane. You're Lieutenant Admiral Kane. Admiral? Rear, rear Admiral Ooh. Kane. I. You know what? Rear I'm Admiral not, Kane. Yes. I'm not good at this. Yeah, you're Rear Admiral Kane, and I am an Agathon. <laughs> From the Pegasus episodes, yeah. right? Yeah, an Agathon. Yes. Yeah. Um. So yes, go check it so, out. So I'm Bennett. so excited about it, and it was like spending time with my friends because we were in the same booth, just many, many hours apart. That's right. But that's we right. sweated in the same place, could, and that's I could smell you in there, Bennett. It was like we were right there. You were in there before me, sweetheart. Oh, really? Yeah. Just wishful thinking then. Smell, yeah. <laughs> so I um, could smell you. Could smell Great. Yeah. Yes. I could smell you. <laughs> Great. Hello. I didn't get a chance to meet you before. <laughs> That's before Justine. The set, though. Justine. Okay. Well, lovely to meet Likewise. you. Likewise. Lovely to meet you. Yeah. And so you're the vo a vocalist with yes, them as well. Uh, and sometimes play 
uh, weird, quirky instruments. <laughs> yes. Including the, the glockenspiel, which was out earlier, and One the of my favorite melodica. Words. Great. Mm-hmm. Occasionally. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. It's a key, little keyboard you blow into, in yeah. case anyone didn't know. Yeah. And, and over in the back, we have Ryan on trumpet. Oh, yeah. Probably the oldest member of the band besides Joseph. Yeah, Not like... <laughs> That came out wrong. Rude. <laughs> Rude. Maybe true. But it's been a long day. Uh, I, for, I forget how many years ago. Yeah, we've been uh, playing music yeah. since uh, the last century or something. Yeah. I don't know when. It was, no, it was after that, Joseph I guess. Joseph played me something. It was, you know, like, here's some, some music. And I said, you know, like, I know this is going to sound weird, but I hear brass on this. And Joseph says, like, you mean, like, yep, da 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 I'm like, no. <laughs> And I was like, I don't think I want trumpet on my delicate, you know. Yeah, yeah but uh, but then he showed me how he could do those those beautiful soaring notes, which I hope you could hear there on that last song. And and it's so sensitive and, and we started very doing, soft. We started doing so much of it. I went out and bought a flugelhorn to get an even darker sound. So yeah, that's what we do. Yeah. Another one of my fl- favorite oh. words: flugelhorn. Flugelhorn. You're not old. You're the most senpai. You're not old. You're the most loved. Aww. Yeah. Also that. Except for the others. Uh, so you have a very unique, very ethereal, spooky sound. Where did that come Thanks. from? I don't know. I thought it was you. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, where did it come from? Gosh. Um, I loved a whole bunch of different inst- uh, b- bands that had that kind of spellbinding sound, that yes, sort of feeling perfect, that you get when when you listen to some of Simon and Garfunkel's stuff, as well as This Mortal Coil from 4AD, if anyone's gothy. Oh um, and, uh, and even some old symphonic stuff, you know, like old uh, classical music sometimes has that kind of just spellbinding feeling. And as well as Poor Unfortunate Souls at the end with the, uh, with the, the spell binding, literally it's binding her in a spell, the Beluga Savruga. And we do that part and it's, that's very much us. It's a, we couldn't do that song without that part. Um, so were you going to ask something or you? Oh, no, no. I was, I was just thinking, yeah, I was thinking about other like symphonic things that like had that feeling. For, for me, it's like Shostakovich's mm. Jazz Symphony. Mm. I turned guys... to Rye who would know about that. Yes, yeah. yes, thumbs up. Yes, um, I, that's when I, I don't know titles. I oh, okay, now I have to research. Yeah, I don't know titles so well, but I know a lot of pieces. I've listened to a lot of yeah, them. That on one that, that's the one that goes do, 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 Oh God! I wish. <laughs> I, if I had, I had the violin, I, I might be able. Like to. Oh, nice! Next yeah. time. I think. I think I actually said this to Joseph the other night when we were working on something, and I, I tossed out a. a a very famous uh, wind ensemble composer, Percy Granger. It's like yeah. Joseph, you're channeling yeah, Granger. He said. He he said. Are you trying to sound like? Is it Percy? Percy, Gra- Percy yeah. Granger. Granger. I was like, yes. Is it? Is that good? <laughs> then yes. That's what it's I'm, <laughs> with this piece. Because yeah, we created an orchestra. Um, me, a cellist friend, and uh, and Wicked, who is not here, who is very bummed not to be here. She's our electric violinist, oh, and so she's between so her, good. she's really good. And oh, she's amazing. And, like, also, Bonnie, Bonnie Gordon well. couldn't be here tonight. And we have tonight. Bonnie, Bonnie she, in our band she when, to when she's available. Um, hopefully, we'll have you all back. She's yeah. very famous. She's on tour right now. That's she right, but she can't be here because she's busy being famous. She's, she's off being, being successful famous. and creative. That's right. <laughs> Screw you, Bonnie! We'll just invite you back again another time yeah, because we, we love, you. Yeah. We love I, you. I love you. I will write another song for you if you come back, please. Right. I'm really too big to pull that off. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, a very spellbinding, spellbinding sound. Um, do you all have... Okay. Oh, can I ask, do you all believe in ghosts? Oh, do yes, we believe no, in ghosts? or it's complicated. It's complicated. Hard yes. <laughs> all right. Like hard, hard yes. Hard no. Science. <laughs> all right. Science. All right. All Prove right. it to me, and then yes. Yeah. I've I, had too I, many spoopy experiences. I used to, not to play in ghosts. piano at the Queen Mary for years and years and years, and people would come up there and be like, tell "So, me, tell me about that. so yeah, have you ever that. seen a ghost?" <laughs> and all I would say is no. I never seen. There's um. There's like there's a little loungy bar there, so I would be there for like four hour sets, like every weekend, and I never saw a ghost because I don't believe in them. Maybe they didn't come because I don't believe in them. But Maybe. like, yeah, like they're Mary. like screw that. Yeah. yeah. Like it. Well, also like the Alexandria Hotel is another place mm. that's notoriously supposed to be haunted, and I played piano there. Maybe you are the nev- ghost. Maybe I'm the ghost. Have you thought yeah. about that? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're dead the whole time. But I played with her hair earlier. Yes, you did. New spectral oh! follicles. <laughs> now wait and see what happens to you. <laughs> so you're saying is you don't believe in yourself. And I feel like you should. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you said you had 
too many spooky experiences. Do you oh, want to yeah. share one of those? Okay, so um, so I went to Hollywood High, which is a very old campus and super super haunted. Uh, multiple people have died on the campus, and um, there was a an after school outing where a, the cast of whatever show I was working on went to go see something at the Pantages or whatever. And so afterwards, we're coming back, and we have to go up. A, there's like a very narrow set of stairs with one door at the top, one door at the bottom. My bag, everyone's backpacks are in the room at the top of the stairs, and there's no lights on in the hallway. There's just the bottom door is open, and all the light that you can see is from outside the door, and it is nighttime. So one or two friends and I start walking up the stairs, and I see someone standing at the top of the stairs, and I think, oh, someone beat us here. And they start running down the stairs towards oh. us. Oh. My friend Rachel and I press ourselves against the wall so that they will not knock us down the stairs. Uh -huh. No one ever reaches the bottom of the <gasps> stairs. No! <laughs> Rachel, were you there that time? Other mode, different, Other Rachel. Rachel. Yeah. different one. No, but were you at the top of the stairs running down the stairs? I mean, look, you I can tell like, us if it was you. I don't like to tell my tricks, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I, I do a lot of running. I do some spooking. I do some blowing on backs of necks and like, you know, usual that ghost stuff. That part's nice. Stuff. Classic ghost stuff. I can't tell you when I was doing it, like a lot. <laughs> Check your time clock or time card. Okay. All right. That okay, story, that's pretty spooky. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah okay why is it complicated for you then why is it complicated well i think that we okay all right do you want a real answer i'll tell you my real answer i think that internally in our minds we have a representation this is science we have representation representation of the world around us the visual world the audio world these are things that we are taking new information in through our senses and we are always integrating that with what we already think the world is made out of and that internal experience is sort of where we're experiencing reality. It's inside our heads. And this is what science basically says. Um, so if you've got something that's like putting an experience in your head or something that externally comes to you in some way or from a memory comes to you or from another part of your brain that is conceivably could be haunted by an energy or, a, or something, a deja vu, these things suddenly all become possible when you realize that the reality that we're living in is entirely local to our brains. Suddenly, so, the, the, so you're like, saying they're made up, but like there are well, real, all of reality is made up. So. Yeah, all of reality is equally okay. made up, including yeah. ghosts. Okay. But I just I think that you can have any supernatural thing be possible if you consider that you know what reality is for us is actually kind of all the matrix. It's, it's completely subjective, and we live on the insides of our own skulls. Yes. Ah, I know what I do. This has been a real scary night for me, guys. <laughs> well put. I love you. I love you. Oh, Says you. Oh, yeah. You haven't been in here. Yeah, yeah, it's it's going to be okay. Until you're sleeping in your bed and then I sneak in and just go. Okay. That, that could happen to you. She has to finish the show. We need to stop trying to make her Freddy pee. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, so how we how we doing on everything? I know we're setting up. We might we might have a yeah we might have a, a spooky surprise for oh. everybody. I see another guest joining us at our uh, at our table that I'm really excited for you all to to see. Um, but really quickly, I guess uh, our, I can plug our, our, our social media yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's, that, that's that exactly what okay. I was going to ask you. <laughs> yeah, okay. Great. Uh, where we can have, they find you on the internet, well, Joseph? We are, we are Windows to Sky is our band name. You can probably see it on the music stands, but I'm telling you it's Windows to Sky. And we have a website, windows to sky.com. We also have a YouTube page, which I should have uh, had them put on the thing because it's like where a lot of our stuff is. So check it out, uh, youtube.com slash windows to sky. And there's no the. And everyone thinks there's a the, but we are not windows to the sky. Yes, wait, do that one more time. That's our that's our that's our mnemonic windows device. W to two sky. Three, two, one. Okay, that's fantastic. Where did the name come from? Um, 
That's actually, yeah, no one ever asked me that question. Really? It's a very unusual name. I know. Maybe people are too intimidated by the unusualness. They're like, oh, I, that's too the unusual. I have I never been know. intimidated exactly. by anything this is unusual. Part because of I myself why we love am you. strange and unusual. Yes, exactly. Right. Um, I had a friend named Catelyn, who may or may not even be watching Hello. Um, she wrote a song years and years ago called Windows to Sky that was about helping her, um, well, her boyfriend at the time, helping him expand his perspective outside of this little sort of depressed place that he had found himself in. And she was, um, she had assigned herself the job, which she wasn't completely happy about, of like opening up windows to sky in his little dark space to allow him to sort of see hope and see a better world and see stars and see the unknown and all of the things that, um, that a skylight or a window from a dark place help you with your uh, metaphorical life and literal, um, both. And she said, I don't know what to do with this song. I wrote this song and it seems like something that you could do something with. Do you want it? And I said, yeah, can I name my band after it actually? <laughs> and she's like, that's kind of creepy and weird. I'm like, I'll, I'll think of something else later. <laughs> Um, no, uh -uh. and I like it. I like it as a metaphor. I liked the song a lot. It was a beautiful song, which we never do. And every now and then, I think maybe we should bring that song back. I don't think I've ever heard. Yeah, that I don't song. think you. I don't. I feel like maybe Rye has heard it, and that's, that's probably I it. I used really to sing beautiful. it. I used to and sing it very, very badly. Oh wait, yeah, that's yes. right. When you first joined us, we did that song. I I love that story. I'm oh. I'm so thrilled that I asked that because what a lovely story that is, and I think that people in chat really appreciate the sentiment as well. Um, but it looks like we're ready on the other set. We're gonna throw it on over to you, and then but actually, uh, next set, can you read some of your song in the notes notes about the song because they're really very good. <laughs> actually, they're very much in your voice, and I enjoy it. Um, all right, thank you so much to Windows to Sky. Thank you to all of you. Thank you. It was a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's head back over over to you, Talzin. What do I do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're reloading s'mores. S'mores reload. Hi, I think we're back up. We are back on. Welcome. Hi. Back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't see you there. Uh, we're doing. We're kind of doing our signal boosty thing, and again, I haven't actually had time to <coughs> find a single a signal boost antenna wherever it happens to be hiding in uh, the studio. But I do have a cool thing. I last year I did a YouTube thing where I did a cool, I did a cool uh, um, uh, music video or or cool thing or cool uh, creature or movie every day for all of October for Halloween. You can actually still find it on my YouTube channel if you want to see. A uh, higher. Uh, hello. So oh, if you, if you can see behind us and now lean to your right, you lean to your left. I mean, you're on the left. I mean, like put your head down here because there should be a ghost behind us. Is there a ghost behind us? No, I didn't see anything. Oh! <laughs> no! No ghosts. There's no, there's no ghosts. She ain't afraid of no ghosts. I love decorating my house for Halloween, and one of the oh. cool things that we... That, and this is our kind of our signal boost where we tell you cool stuff that either to read or to watch or to... And every now and then, like, stuff you can buy that's really cool. These guys make projector. It's called uh, Atmosphere, or Atmos FX, and Atmosphere. They do them for all the holidays. But oh, Halloween's the only kinda, one that it's matters. Kinda, it's kind of. Oh God! Okay, I see her. <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! It's okay. All right. 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 Okay. It is. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Everything's fine. Pipe down. Pipe down. You gonna be okay? It's never going to be okay. okay. Right. Projections coming from inside the studio. <laughs> <laughs> so if you check out at Atmosphere, at Atmos Effects, they have these, like, this is the creep, creepy girl that I'm a big fan of. They have a guys who, who cut off their heads. They've got blood that appears on the wall and writes out words. They have uh, creepy zombies pounding on things, insects coming out of the walls. Huge cosmic eyes that show up. Or, and then they have, like, or you can do, they have auto projections, like the one we did with the with the talking talking skeletons, except they have pumpkin ones. So instead of carving Ooh. a pumpkin, you just set up the pumpkins and then it projects uh, kind of cute, kid-friendly. They have kid-friendly ones and adult ones. They do Ooh. both. Oh. What are the so adult one of them ones? Has like? I mean, like, the adult ones are like the... Uh, oh, they're not like, I'm not like adult kid. ones. Like, no, like... like hey, they don't have this. No, like, no. Just that kind yeah, of no. Just like no. dick shit. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yo, girl, look yeah. at my yes. board. Yes. <laughs> 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 
Oh, I've fallen for that too many times. <laughs> <laughs> you laugh, it's true. Yeah, I know. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Hashtag. Uh, hashtag. Hashtag. Sorry. Hashtag. Sorry. Hashtag. Okay. Yeah, okay, night. so are we, so, so we could... We can tell some more ghost stories. I we suppose. can tell some more ghost also, stories. Also, is 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 our other guest gonna be gonna be joining? We have us? another guest. Sit in? Well, I mean, like, we there is there room? There's probably room to. to There's only room on that side. Do we want to? Do we want to add a fourth? Grab it in I think and we can make space. Come here, come here. Let's add one okay. more. Room for one more. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at this! I've been been the There's always room for one. Uh, who has the snacks? <laughs> Oh, there's a mic there. Oh, you I'm have more snacks. Why are you? I mean, you can keep talking. There's always room for one more. There's no microphone there. But I didn't. Mean, I, I got to. I got to play you on the internet last night. It was I really fun. Oh my God! I heard yeah. Ivan dead. Do you want to play a game? Hard. <laughs> 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 it's so, it's so much fun. Excellent player to sit. Uh, the internet was incredibly impressed with your. Uh, I was. I've been working on it for a month. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite impression was the one of Christian the building. Yeah, yeah. Christian, Christian, Christian was my favorite officer because I've actually just been working on that one for fun because Christian, Chris, Christian just just delights in torturing me very specifically. <laughs> I'll just walk in and be like. Is this your your laptop? I'm like, yeah, he'll just take it and walk away. I'm like, <laughs> bold. I was like, oh, it was a good joke. I'm not joking. <laughs> oh, that's a really good. He's like the part. janitor from Scrubs. He's, he's just so <laughs> mean. He, yeah, Chris, I love Chris so much. <laughs> he's great. He's he's. A, he keeps yeah. the ship running. Yeah. No, and he, he takes no sh like he takes so much no, no shit that like in the, if everything went wrong, I knew he'd be the only guy. I'd be like. I got shit to do, dude. <laughs> Which is what happened in the game. Yeah, we're just like, he's just going to keep doing what he needs to do. Because he's like, I don't care what's happening. I don't care about anything you people do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about or know what you people do. Yeah. Every now and then, like, we'll be cleaning out one of the closets, and he'll be like, is that, is those un is that an Uncut Magic the Gathering car thing? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, that whole thing. I, 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 I want it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't we actually got yeah. him one, though. We did. We did. <laughs> we finally got him one after after the several drops when we were cleaning out through, and I was like, Christian's been wanting this for a really long time. Um, I'm just going to wrap it up and put it on his desk and put a sticky note from the GNS team yeah. on it. So. Oh, he he puts nice. up with so much of our yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Uh, so welcome to welcome. Ivan. Hey. Welcome to Ivan. Hey. Hey. I couldn't sleep, so I figured the best thing to do with the Is that really here. what happened? Oh, really? It really is. Why happened. couldn't you sleep? Mm. Oh, you couldn't sleep tonight. I'm getting adjusted. But the Phoenix was having a tough time. So, speaking of spooky stuff. Who's Phoenix? Who's you? Really quick, like. Phoenix is my two year old toddler. Mm -hmm. oh, which, yeah. when you put him to bed, and, you know, it's very dark in our in our apartment, and um, we, we kind of have this situation where we lay him down, we read books to him. He won't sleep with a nightlight, believe it or not. So he has to have it completely dark. And um, I'm cutting out little tokens for a game test that I'm going to be doing next Friday. And uh, Kazi and I, my girlfriend, were sitting and cutting these tokens out. And I kid you not, I hear the... And just against the little sliding door that we have that connects like the, our hallway from the main living room. And this has happened before. I have literally gone to go to the restroom and gone through the hallway and Phoenix is just standing there, <laughs> like in the middle of the hallway. No, <laughs> no, man. This is the story about kids. We're moving on. <laughs> I, 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 there's a lot of things that, that don't bother me in the realm of like phobias and stuff, but but tiny demon babies are my number one. <laughs> yeah. Forever That's super you creepy. have your own. I know. Yeah. 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 He's also blonde. He is. Oh, no. He's such oh. a horror movie kid. Yeah, he's, he's like so children of the corn he's level. He looks like the damned And he says yeah. things like, dice. Yeah. dice. <laughs> and when he says me. Roll for initiative. <laughs> 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 Uh, when he says meeple, he says meat dice. Oh! Meat dice. Oh. No! Oh. Daddy, I like this kid. Talk about your testicles. Meat dice. <laughs> Everyone talks about testicles. <laughs> like it. So that's my thing. I went to this morning and I've seen him knock around. He was knocking on the door. And then he took some of his action figures and poked them. He would open the door and then shove them through. He just... With us. <laughs> <laughs> he knew. He knew what was up. And then I get in there and I try to put him away, but I stick my head in and he's not in his bedroom. And so I walk in our bedroom and he's standing on the bed. Oh. 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 <laughs> Phoenix, go to bed! <laughs> kids, kids are creepy, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. They do creepy things. Mm -hmm. I actually, uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of, of the creepy nursery rhyme. 
<laughs> yeah. uh, like we're all, we were talking earlier about, is, is anybody read Shockheaded Peter, the old, yes. old German, like, Yes, oh. Peter. There. Yes, oh, yeah. I was going to say, my German grandmother used to come and read it in German, and then yeah. and then my mom would translate, so I'd get it at the same time. Oh. Just, just in case cool. you missed something, she's like, no, I want you to get this. Yeah, I want to make sure you understand there, why the kid is losing it. so like creepy him. that he mentioned one about thumb sucking, and it was, I it hadn't worked. heard it, and I managed to just turn and, and like, like an hour We're an hour sitting ago. out there, and I'm just, just trying to eat, and I was like, oh, remember that one? As Conrad's mother said, Conrad, dear, I must go out and leave you here. But mind now, Conrad, what I say. Don't suck your thumbs while I'm away. The great tall tailor, he always comes for naughty kids who suck their thumbs. And ere they wonder what he's about, he's got his big long scissors out. <laughs> snip, snip, the scissors go. And Conrad cries out, oh, oh, oh. I'm like, I'm, how do I remember this? And I'm sitting there going, like, <laughs> having flashbacks to my German grandmother saying this right as I'm going to bed like this. And she, and she looks at me and she She's goes, like, you want to Now remember that? how many scissors I have, Rikinda. <laughs> and I just go. <laughs> <laughs> and I sleep like this oh, the whole yeah. time she's and there. And the mom, the mom laughs at the kid do. bleeding to death. Yeah. The kid bleeds to death at bleeds the end. To death. He actually he bleeds to death. He That's dies. the end of the nursery ride. Mm -hmm. And the mom's laughing at him, saying, "I told you this would happen." Like I told what? you, so. Yeah. But he won't need braces. That's what nursery rhymes were meant to do. They're meant to scare the shit out of the kid. Mm -hmm. and they put them. So, beyond even nursery rhymes, though, there's. Mm -hmm. I actually, I'm a fan of creepy children's poetry, mm -hmm. uh, and one of my favorite collections. I've got a little one here. Is uh, is from uh, oh god the 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 writer of of Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde, uh, who I might Ro Robert Robert, Robert Louis Stevenson, Stevenson, who wrote a children's collection of poetry called A Child's Garden of Verse. <laughs> <laughs> it's so creepy. There's stuff in here, and, and like a lot of it is antiquated and weird. But I've got a quick one. I've got a really really small one called The Unseen Playmate. Which you're, oh. You're <laughs> oh god, it's dark in here. Yeah. <laughs> When children are playing alone on the green, in comes the playmate that never was seen. When children are happy and lonely and good, the friend of the children comes out of the wood. Nobody heard him and nobody saw. He is a picture you never could draw, but he's sure to be present abroad or at home when children are happy and playing alone. He lies in the laurels, he runs on the grass, he sings when you tickle the musical glass. Wherever you're happy and cannot tell why, the friend of the children is sure to be by. He loves to be little, he hates to be big. Tis he that inhabits the caves that you dig. Tis he when you play with your soldiers of tin that sides with the Frenchmen and never can win. Tis he when at night you go off to your bed, bids you go to sleep and not trouble your head. For whenever they're lying in cupboard or shelf, is he who takes care of your playthings himself. <laughs> Dude, what was what? wrong with Victoria? <laughs> 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 but at the same time, is yes, that yes, like lives. the original pitch for Toy Story? I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Toy Story oh, is creepy as right? I also like though because it's a Victorian era, Victorian English, you're like, ha ha, creepy things and fuck French. <laughs> 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 and you're gonna be like, well done, yes, well done. Well done. <laughs> It was 1880. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely, it's definitely uh, an 1880. So we have a couple of minutes. Does somebody have a short one I they do. want to share? I absolutely oh. do. Oh. This is 100% a uh, true, true story oh, about no. a yes. very traumatic experience in my youth. Ooh. All right. Mm. So um, I have only ever gone swimming in a pond once in my entire life when I was seven years old. Uh, we were living in Chicago. And uh, this is also the first and last time I ever went camping with friends because fuck that. Here, oh, no, let, me let me explain, let me explain, let me explain. <laughs> All right. out of so I, we, we were camping and I had, uh, we, we had gone with a bunch of friends and they were really, really wanting to swim in this pond near our campsite, right? But for some reason they were super gung-ho about it. Never bothered to ask. I was young and when I wanted to go swim with my friends, right? So I, I was about to leave uh, to go swim with them and I hear my mom in the background going, don't go. And I was like, why? She's just like, don't go swimming. Don't do it. Mm. Being a young age and wanting to be with my friends, I went anyway, right? Went swimming, had a great time, came back. My mom was still sitting there reading a book. And by the time I got back to camp, she didn't even look at me. She's like, who's your favorite Ninja Turtle? Who's your favorite Ninja Turtle? And I looked at her and I said, Raphael Doy. <laughs> <laughs> Proper answer. <laughs> right. And she, and she without, again, without looking, was like, just making sure you're still my son. And, and, Whoa. 
What? And I asked her, I was seven, and, and I cheated? asked her, and I asked her, what? Why? And she, without ever explaining, for the rest of her life, she never explained to me I had to find out on my own. She just said the words, water ghosts. <gasps> oh. Water ghosts. After the trip, I found out my friends were dicks because they did not explain to me that someone had drowned in that pond, and that's why they were super gung-ho to swim there, all right? And then, of course, years later, I found out what water ghosts were. In Chinese mythology, ponds or lakes where people have drowned in contain these things called water ghosts, mm -hmm. right? And if you swim in one of those ponds, the ghost will come and replace your soul with theirs. Oh. And you are dragged down to the bottom of the lake and trapped there until someone else comes swimming. And it just eternally recycles itself. Wow. So I have never swam in a pond since. Boy, it's good that she knew what your favorite word yeah. is. <laughs> <laughs> that's an that's a good she, yeah, she knew. She knew what my favorite was. Yeah. Yeah. is Raphael. Yeah, yeah. Raphael. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. You know mother. Yeah. <laughs> we're probably, I, I mean, like, I guess I guess we're, we're probably going to go to one more song are, and then talk are we, a little bit more. Are we, maybe get a few more. Do we have, are we going one more song? Right now, or there's no one back there. Who are you no one back there. <laughs> <laughs> You're alone You're in there. the building. You don't, don't you see the the tall man in the back? No, no I really don't. He's very, <laughs> he's very slender looking. <laughs> <laughs> the tall man. He's wearing the suit. Just don't turn around. Long no facial arms, features. Very long. No it's kind of hard. To, like, no. I see no no the about to get punched. I see the ghost. Don't the don't mess with me. Don't mess with me, Brian. Don't you mess with me. I believe I believe we're actually coming coming are to we, the time where we, it's are, time are to we? run the mute. Okay, yes, we're, to go. No, we're going to right. we're well, uh, another num another number from Windows to Sky. <laughs> this is a song about longing for a time and a place far away. It's by Pink Floyd, but our version is spookier. Is there anybody in there? Just not if you can hear me. Is there anyone home? Come on now. I hear you feeling down. I can ease your pain. Get you on your feet again. Relax. I need some information first. Just the basic facts. Can you show me where it Ship smoke on the horizon. You are only coming through in waves. Your lips move, but I can't hear what you're saying. When I was a child. That'll 
Keep you going through the show. Come on, it's time to go. There is no pain you are receiving. A distant ship smoke. Yeah, we yeah. were singing. Yeah, Jeremy was really into it. Love it. Love it. Awesome. Oh, yeah. thank, uh, th thank you to, to the whole band at Windows to Sky who have been a wonderful part of mm -hmm. my life for yes. so long. Ago. Please, oh. please go support them. Check out their YouTube. Buy their music. It's it's they are incredible. Yes. Always Very good. Yeah, and, and thank you so much to all of you for for being so lovely and receptive and fun in the in the chat. And you know, I we really supportive. appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. And it's we want to keep doing, and we've got one more Halloween themed episode. For we this. do. This, this one more week. Next October. week, Ooh. gather your treats. <laughs> big one. Everybody's coming in costume. It's going to be a really good. We're going to do uh, ha traditional Halloween games. We're going to have a Halloween eat. We're going to have a hot, like, and it's going to be costumes, and there's going to be That's some food. That's right. Bobbing for apples. We may do some bobbing. We're doing, nice. doing something with apples. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they'll be bobbing, they'll be apples, so not necessarily I meant, like, the same. Like, I meant, like, on a string, apples on a string or something. Anyway, <laughs> also there, there's going to be a, uh, I think I, I think I can announce it. We're we're pretty sure we're doing um, a, a Scaredy Cats special for Halloween on Game Engine. Uh, so we're going to be playing horror games and getting scared by the, the crew will take their revenge. We're doing Johnny the Homicidal Maniac on Wednesday Club. Hey. 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 Oh, school Yes. And, uh, that crap. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then. Uh, 
Yeah. We're going to be, oh, yeah, school. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm so, but, uh, for next week, a preview uh, next time on Geek and Sundry. Actually, yeah, actually, can can we get a KG uh, next time on Geek and Sundry? Next time on Geek and Sundry. Yay! <laughs> Perfect. Like Thank you. So, right. <laughs> we really, we, we hate that we couldn't get to all the stories that we had know, planned, but I it's know. okay because we have great music, and we're going to have all these people you're going to see again, and you should totally follow them on the internet because yes, we are going to keep, these are great people, we're going to keep bringing you back. Oh, absolutely. We, we, are, so we are going to invite every single one of you back for, because uh, such a lovely time was had this nice. evening by all. Yes. Um, but, but next week on Game Engine, we have have a, a it's another blizzardy episode we're mm -hmm. on the road to blizzcon uh, we have a representative from BlizzCon. from the blizzard uh, the new sports esports arena e -sports. here in town, in town. and oh, uh, <laughs> 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 please i cannot not have you do that from now on <laughs> uh, josephine mcadam will be playing some overwatch McAdam. yes overwatch. what do you got coming up i got i'm doing another week of critical role critical role critical role <laughs> <laughs> uh, with more vampire goodness and I'm gonna Vampire gonna, goodness. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna try out some new powers. We're gonna get a little weird. We're gonna get a little political. Getting weird, <laughs> weird and political. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna like spoil the surprise, but if anybody knows like Crazy Occult LA. I'm definitely diving into some crazy. Oh, that's, oh that's so much good stuff. It's so much good Great. stuff. Right, and you're yeah. you're yeah. supposed yeah. to do some some sort of special episode of something where you talk about the lore of. of I don't know if that's uh, next LA. week. But we, no, yeah, not we're next do that week. At some but point. at some point, you got to talk about uh, and then you have gonna, awesome I'm LA on, occult stories. And I'm going to be on Tox Mock and I believe on Tuesday, so I'm doing that too. Huzzah! 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 So that's Yay. that's everything I think we've been told. Uh, also, uh, it, it is on Alpha, but you can oh, if you do not have Alpha, you can get a free. 30 day subscription to check out Sagas of Sundry Madness. Madness! On <laughs> Madness! <laughs> it's, guys, yeah, it's uh, Sagas of Sundry is something yeah. we are so fucking <laughs> proud of. So I've guys, seen a little bit of the video of what you guys were up to. Holy shit. Guys, Jeremy, let's all talk about Jeremy and this one oh. <laughs> because you don't even know. You don't even know what this man brought to the table. Oh yet. We God. don't, so we'll have to tune in. We'll have to tune in. Also, the promo stills with the smoke and the tower are like. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so oh my so God! And then uh, uh, if you haven't, if you haven't <laughs> caught Talison and uh, Ivan on the previous season, <laughs> that's there too. You can go through that's on there as well. Big I big started show. watching it in a. Spooky 200 year old house in Maine this past oh. weekend. Oh we're, we're, my god. If the Murder She Wrote House. Oh my god, the, the Murder She Wrote House yeah. that our friend yeah. lives in. Um, if, you, if you didn't read my creepypasta story, I woke up at like. There is a horde of zombies telling us that we have to go or okay. else the crew is going right. to eat us. All right. We love you guys so much. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us here at Gather Your Ghosts. Have a lovely weekend. We'll see you next week. Bye. See you next week. Thank you, everybody. Woo.